what's going on everybody? Steve here, Raking Profit over at rakingprofit.com. Coming back to you with another video. We got a bunch of books in front of us right now and we're joined by my good friend Avery. What's going on, man? What's going on, man? Avery's uh, one of my good friends, also my roommate here. And uh, Avery, you've built your business from, I think last year, I had interviewed you on my channel and you had scaled up to about 12,000 a month. Mm -hmm. And what have you done in sales with books, like physical books selling on Amazon over the last, uh, I don't know, maybe just like this year in 2020? This year, uh, we're probably approaching 600,000. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Two that's... weeks ago it was 578,000, so we're, we're close to 600,000. That's cool. So in this video specifically, what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna dive into a bunch of these books that we have here. I'm not sure how much you can see on the screen, but we're gonna be scanning a bunch of books. I'm gonna get behind the camera and we're gonna go over Avery's shoulder and we're gonna scan books with his phone. And uh, he uses a application called Scout IQ. I'll put a link or a logo on the screen. And essentially what that allows you to do is what, Avery? Uh, so the, the app tells you how much profit the book's gonna make you. And there's two things that make books profitable or good to sell on Amazon. Number one, is it profitable? But if I took you into a room of 50 books and they were all super profitable, but I told you they never sold, would you want that room of books? Right. Probably not. Yeah. And vice versa, if books sell all the time, like you'll see here, people always think Harry Potter's a good book to sell, it's usually not. You don't wanna sell books that sell every single day at a loss. That's a quick way to take your business down fast. So this app tells you, does the book sell for profit and does the book sell often? And if there's a history of selling and it sells for profit, good, boom, we're gonna pick it up for a dollar or two and flip it on Amazon. So this video is gonna not only be for beginners who are brand new, maybe you've never scanned a book before, you don't even understand what Scout IQ is or why you would use it. It's gonna you know, take care of you, but also if you're intermediate or advanced, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be over his shoulder, just grilling him, I'm gonna be grilling you with questions, man. Sweet. Why are you doing this? What are your thoughts on this? What does it mean if you see this and that rank and e-score and what do all these things mean? So without further ado, if you're ready to make this happen right now, do us a big favor, smash that like button also, if after this video you want more information, if you want us to dive even deeper, we have a free webinar. I'm gonna put a link to it down below. We'll put it on the screen, but be sure to sign up for that. It's 100% free and we're gonna go over scanning books, sourcing books, listing books, optimizing your business, repricing and scaling your business. So yep. let's uh, let's get into this video. I'm and gonna here's a pro tip. If you guys wanna open up that link in a separate tab, it actually helps out the YouTube algorithm to make people look like they're not leaving the video. So just Right click that, open up in a separate tab, and you can sign up for that later, but that's a pro tip for you. Hey, pro tip. Let's get into it, I'm getting behind the camera. All right, so I'm behind the camera right now, and uh, Avery's got all of these books. Check out this view from our apartment right now. This is, it's a beautiful day right now. In Miami, baby. Miami, baby. So, Avery, what do we got going on right here? I'm gonna get over your okay. shoulder in a little creepy way, and. Uh, so, we have quite a few books here, and all you need to do with the Scott IQ app is simply click scan. And we're gonna look at a few books. Uh, should I show them? I don't even know if this book's profitable or not, so let's use this book first. Okay, so it's not profitable, and it's gonna turn red when it's not, but this is assuming the buy cost is $3. So let's take this buy cost down to zero, because the buy cost is gonna be zero dollars if you get books for free, and there's tons of methods we go over in the webinar, how to get books for free. You can go to garage sales, you can go to estate sales, and a lot of times people just wanna give up books. They're, they're tired of books taking up space. So if we got this book for free, it would be profitable at $4.91 profit. So hopefully it's focusing good on that right now. And it's book doesn't sell a whole bunch. I'm not gonna go into details unless you want me to about Well, yeah, so. man, that's what this video is gonna be about. Okay. We gotta, but go slow though, because there's gonna be people watching who are, you know, you like to talk fast, you're excited because he's caffeinated right now, you guys, he's got coffee. Yeah. But we gotta go slow, man, and break it down for people right now, exactly what are we looking at right now? Let's, okay. let's, let, me, let me ask you some questions. So where does it show the profit? So the profit's up here, 491, top left corner. And then it says accept, which means? That means it's good. And let me break something down with the profit. People always ask, well, what about Amazon fees? Amazon fees are so much. This includes all the Amazon fees right here. So Amazon fees actually make up over 50% of, of the price here. So the profit after all Amazon fees is 491, but we're gonna sell the book for 1393. So if anyone that wants to look at uh, profit, Breakdown, just click on it and it'll show you the profit breakdown. Is shipping including in that? Uh, yes, shipping is included. Shipping to Amazon's included as well. So it's also factoring in what you pay to get it to Amazon. So literally all fees are factored in here. 
Okay, gotcha. So that's the profit. Accept means to buy or pass based on the rules. The buy cost is going to change. Let's tell them a cooler book than that. But let's hear. I want to. I want to explain a little foundational stuff first before we jump on. But okay. yeah, scan a book if you want. Scan it. You know, I'm itching to. I'm caffeinated. There we go. So wow, sa same that. story here, but this book sells a lot more. So you can see that it's still profitable, but it's $121 profit. This is a textbook and it sells for much more during textbook season. This is one of my favorite books right here to flip. I find it at thrift stores. If you guys ever see this book with a sunflower on it, pick it up. I buy it from students all the time. Uh, I even buy it online. I bought this online for fifty dollars because it's worth it because it's one hundred twenty. But that book's restricted. Most people aren't going to be able to sell it on their account. Yeah, but you can still monetize it via eBay, Bookscouter.com. You can sell it to third-party vendors, or you can use my service, RestrictedInventory.com, and still get fifty percent of the profit. So this is my service I made for resellers just like you, and you can still get sixty dollars profit selling it through my service. Or the other methods I mentioned, you can sell on eBay as well for probably 85 bucks. So I see it says 46 used and then it says four new. What does that mean? Uh, where are you looking at that? Oh, 40, okay, 46 used means that's the number of used offers. I usually don't pay attention to that too But much. is that used FBA offers or used merchant? That's just used period. How many used offers are there? And then it breaks it up into FBA versus merchant fulfilled. So merchant fulfilled just means somebody's shipping this book directly to the customer. FBA means that we're shipping it to Amazon first. So if you ship this book to Amazon first, uh, you can offer freakishly fast shipping is what I call it, prime shipping. Everybody knows what prime shipping is. It means when you order the item, you're gonna get it in one or two days. It's, it's crazy, so people pay a premium for this. People will pay 155 for a book that they can get prime shipping for versus the person shipping this directly to the customer is only able to sell it for $85. So look at the profit difference. It goes from $61 profit to $121 profit, all because I'm using Amazon Prime's program. Gotcha. So that's the way I teach my students how to sell on Amazon. In the webinar, we go over all of this, how to ship it directly to Amazon, but it's a pretty simple concept. You take this book, you ship it to an Amazon warehouse, they store it for you, they make it available for sale with the freakishly fast shipping, the Prime check, and that's why Scott IQ shows you what you can sell at Prime, and also if you wanna ship it directly to the customer, you could ship it for 85 as well. So the number of used offers tells you how many people are on here, it tells you FBA, versus merchant. I know this is like, it's confusing me looking at all this right now, but the important thing at the end of the day is, does this turn green up here and is there a profit? Yeah, make sure you put in your buy cost and if it's green and you set up your triggers correctly, which, oh, let me ask you something. A lot of people, they're always gonna, I'm trying to get this camera situated here, but a lot of people are always asking like, what are the triggers? How do I set up custom triggers? What are the best triggers? Just use the default ones yeah, when you're starting. The default ones are great. And really you can alter the triggers by altering the buy cost. So if you're worried about like, oh my gosh, I'm at a bookstore, maybe the bookstore is charging $5 per book. You don't have to go in and reconfigure all Scout IQ settings. Just make the buy cost a little bit more. And for example, with this, if you ever buy books from students at colleges, you can pay upwards 20, 30, even $40. I paid over $100 for one textbook before. For this textbook here, if I invested, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter $50 as a buy cost. So if, even if you're at a used bookstore or you're at someone's house and you're like, I don't want any less than 50, it's like, okay, fine. Let me see if it's still profitable. So type in 50. And now 50 is the buy cost up here. Look, it's still profitable. It's only $11 profit at this point if you sell it uh, merchant fulfilled, but if you sold it FBA, it's still $71 profit. So I paid $50 for this book and I'm actually gonna make over 100% ROI on it because I use apps like this that tell me how much profit I'm gonna make at the end of the day. So what do you think we go ahead now? Now that we've given people a really strong foundation and don't get all confused with everything. Look at the green and look at the profit. Know what you wanna make for a profit. If you yeah. wanna make at least five, minimum, which a lot of people look for, yeah. then that's your go-to. Um, also with e-score, um, e-score means how many times that book has sold in a particular like uh, six, six month period. Yep, so 180 days. How many times have, has the book had at least one day with the sale? So if the e-score is 151 plus, it means it sells every day, probably multiple times. So what if a book's making $4 profit, it goes green, but the e-score is only three? Uh, that means it's only sold three times it's only had a day with sale three times in the last hundred. Are you still gonna days. buy it though if you have a minimum four dollar profit? If I have to, if I have to, a dollar profit or four dollars. Four dollars profit, but it's got a super low e score. I probably wouldn't pick it up uh, unless I'm picking up. If if it's for free, if I did a free book pickup and it's in front of me, of course I'm gonna list it. That's free money right there. But if I have to invest two dollars to make maybe four dollars, maybe over the course of several months. I don't think it's worth that investment. Most people getting into this business don't have a lot of capital. They don't have a lot of cash. 
And what you have to realize is, yeah, it's just a dollar today. And it could turn into four, which sounds great. But if you play that game in the long run, I don't think it's super, and we were talking about this the other day with your mom, his, his mom just found $20,000 profit, or you found it for her, a storage unit of very old books. And they're gonna make a lot of money. And he paid very little, Raken pay, paid very little for these books, and that's what made it worth it. But if she was to invest $5 per book, Yes, right. you'd make money over the long run, but she's gonna go cash flow negative for a while. So it's very important to keep your buy costs low and to make sure that you're buying books like this that are home run, you know, that they can uh, get your, your investment back. All right, let's scan some books. We got a bunch of books here. Let's, uh, I'm gonna go over your shoulder and let's just go quickly. Okay, let me take the buy cost down for $50. <laughs> here we go. I'll put, let's assume we're buying these books for a dollar. Okay. Okay, how do I get out of here? He's trapped in Scout IQ. Trap, I'm gonna close the app real quick. Trap, Is that Bumble I just saw? Trap, yep, I'm trapped in caffeinated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is assuming the buy cost is $3. Let me turn it down to $1. There we go. All right. So cool. this is $6 profit. I bought this at Costco to actually read, but if I was to sell it, I would make $6 profit. Steve bought these online. Now this is gonna happen sometimes. Look, there's a rental bookstore. People ask, can you sell these books? Yes, you still can. And how do you scan it? Oh my gosh, there's no barcode. What do I do? You gotta return it, man. Can't <laughs> sell it. You click on this ISBN. This is a super cool feature by cool. Scout IQ. And you gotta make sure that you don't scan the letters like I just did. Okay, so you wanna go directly above the numbers like this. Click ISBN, go down, and it's actually gonna grab the numbers. You gotta make sure your camera is clear when you do this and check that out. So it just scanned the numbers, not the barcode. I paid 18 bucks for those so though. He paid $18, so let's go down and make his, let's actually make his buy cost 18 and see what comes in. Plus shipping, it probably came to like maybe 23 or 24, but I'm playing the long-term game. Like I'm playing the seasonality on this. It's still profitable right now, but it's gonna be way more profitable in January. So what you can do if you scan a textbook and you're playing the game that Steve's playing, because textbooks sell for a lot more when students go back to class, how much do you think you could actually sell this for? I don't remember, but I think I was looking around like over 70. Okay, so let's say, let's be optimistic. I'm gonna say 75 because I'm caffeinated. You can put uh, 75 right here. So you can say, I know I can sell this book for more, but Scout IQ doesn't have the option for me. So all, all I did right there was I clicked on the profit and I changed the list price to 75. And now it tells me, uh, where does it tell me? It tells me somewhere, oh, right down here. It tells me what the profit would be. Oh, it's wow, a $37 nice. profit. So. If you don't feel like doing math in your head and there's all these different fees, there's more fees as the price gets higher because Amazon always takes 15%. It's a lot of math to do. So sometimes it's worth it just to open this up and type that in. Okay. Sweet, yeah, that was a pretty nice little flip. I got, I got three of those. Yeah. There was like 20, but I didn't want to go super deep on it. All right. Okay, so let me bring this buy cost back down to zero. Let's assume we got these books for free now. So instead of paying a dollar at thrift stores, a lot of times you can pick up books for free. So this would be $8 profit if I stole this from Rakin. This is his rental property empire book. So $8 profit. Um, and the reason this orange box jumps around, the reason why that orange box jumps around is it knows you can't sell it for more than Amazon's price. So the orange box is what price is it comparing to right now? If Amazon's selling this book, it knows you can't sell it for more than Amazon. So it compares to the Amazon price and it actually undercuts Amazon by 10%. So people are wondering, why does this orange box jump around? It's doing the, it's doing the thinking for you. Instead of you having to do all the thinking, it is thinking for you. It's, it's like, hey, look, dude, this book's selling on Amazon. Amazon's selling this book. You can't sell this book for more than Amazon. I hear you, man, I hear you. Here we go. So uh, $14 is what we could sell this for, $7.63 profit. This book sells all the time. 7,000 sales rank, e-score of 151 plus. That is a phenomenal book. Now this, guys, if you ever see books with this on it, a lot of resellers don't scan these books. It's an F and SKU. Yeah, that's an F and SKU. That means it's sold on Amazon before and people are gonna be too lazy. They're gonna try to pick this off. Oh, I can't pick it off. I need some goo gone. This is what you do. <laughs> I need some goo gone, man. <laughs> people are gonna freak out and they're like, oh my gosh, like I'm, I'm short on time. Always look these books up because this means it sold on Amazon before. Does it mean it's profitable today? No, but it means it sold on Amazon before. So you guys already know a couple options we can do. There's also a voice text option. This is my favorite because I'm the laziest. I think I picked it up. Hold on one second. 978-1626-342521. That was really aggressive. 
Boom, baby. Boom. And it's not profitable. So it's good to know. But somebody, I actually bought this on Amazon. That's why it sold on Amazon before. But it's good to know. Wait you a second. I bought that book. Did you bought it too? Actually, yeah, you bought that I was going to say, I was like, wait a second. I'm going to introduce he, he, you to he that author. The book. I read the book. <laughs> hey, I read it so, too. So uh, actually, but this, this is a good uh, little example here because we could still flip this. The lowest price FBA is eight fifty nine. dollars A lot of people are going to leave a book like this on the table, literally on the table because they don't know they can sell it for thirteen fifty. dollars Now, the reason why we can sell it for thirteen fifty, dollars mom's texting me right now, is because this guy's going to sell out. Someone like Raikin's gonna buy this book again because they wanna build their business, and then the price is gonna go up to $13.50 because the lowest price is $8.59 right now. So once that price sells out, now you can make $4 profit. So you could pick this book up, but if you pick this book up, make sure you price it strategically, price it at $13.50. We also go over some pricing strategies in the webinar as well. So. Let us know in the comments, are you guys gonna come to that webinar? It's about 60 to 90 minutes. It's a ton of free value. 100% free and I've put hundreds of hours into work on this live presentation, literally hundreds of hours. If you guys can't go into that free webinar and make yourselves a business or build yourselves a business that makes a couple thousand selling yeah. books, then I don't know, you might need to grab some more coffee. <laughs> exactly, you need to get more caffeinated. Here, again, here's another type of, yeah, it looks like an older F and SKU. So um, a lot of these books we did buy on Amazon FBA. That's why they do have uh, these stickers on them. But same story here. Uh, you can also, can I show them the Amazon seller app real quick? Sure, show it to them. This is a 100% free app. You can scan the cover. This is Amazon's technology and boom, they'll pull it up boom, there. Boom, baby. Now, what does your mom look for? Because I know your mom only uses this app. We're gonna have to save that for another video, but honestly, she's just putting in her buy costs and looking for the profit and minusing off a little, bu uh, a little bit of money for the uh, shipping costs. That's and pretty cool. She's doing, she's doing the buy cost in her yeah, head? She uses placement fees, yeah. I mean, no, she, she adjusts it. Like, if she goes oh, wow. into savers, she's adjusting it to four bucks. That's a whole different game, because I didn't know you could enter the buy cost on the app. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you can also use this, and I like to use this when uh, whenever I find a lot of books about barcodes, like, oh, Oh my gosh, there's so many books about barcodes today. I don't feel like talking, uh, I don't feel like talking on my phone that much. I don't feel like typing it in. I don't feel like doing any of that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stack these up. This is a pro pro tip. I stack them up like that. And let's say this didn't have a barcode either. At the very end of the day, what I'm gonna do, at the very end of the day, at the very end of me scanning the shelf, what I'm gonna do is take out my phone, click the camera, and I'm just gonna blaze through these one after another. So right here, I bought this book from a girl on Bumble, actually. And uh, I got <laughs> it for $66 FBA. So what I can do is I can just blaze through these books just like that. Boom, baby. And that's my favorite way to scan non-barcode books. Wow. So let's get back to the barcode books. This is a long video, man. Let's wrap this thing up. All right. Let's, uh, let's end it with this $12 profit. And uh, this, is, this is a great book to, to sell. It sells every single day. It's got a low sales rank. Wow, look at that e-score. Yeah, the e-score is 151 plus. That means it sells all the time. Guys, there's so many profitable books out there. You just have to go get them. Uh, I'll give you guys a, a pro tip right now. Nextdoor is great to find free books. Uh, Facebook Marketplace is great. There's so many books out there. Even though thrift stores are closed right now, there's so many opportunities to still go and get profitable books. So if you guys want to learn more about this, Check out the free webinar. The link is going to be below. Thank you, Steve, so much for having me on your channel. Yeah, thanks for Hopefully breaking it down. Hopefully you guys learned a lot from, uh, from this little scanning session today. Absolutely. And uh, we're going to go a lot more in depth at the webinar. So see you guys there. Get back to that coffee. Awesome. Go yeah, back guys, on Bumble and find some books. If you guys want to follow me, also it's Romer the Romer. That's how you spell it. On YouTube. YouTube, Facebook, Bumble. Instagram, Bumble, all over the place.